Hi, my name is Christian De Jesus. I am one of the admission counselors here at Westfield State. And today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of information about our institution. First, I would like to talk about Westfield State by our numbers. In terms of size, we are a little over 5,000 undergraduate students. Pairing it with our graduate program, we are about 5,400 students in total. We like to say we're a medium-sized institution. We're not super big where it can get a little overwhelming, but we're also not super small, so you can get to meet new people as well as see your friends. In terms of students living on campus, around 60% of our students choose to live on campus each year, and 90% of our first year students live on campus within their first year. We have nine residential halls to choose from. First year students do have some options for first year only halls, and we guarantee housing for all four years you are attending. You have an option to live in a traditional dorm style or a suite style or an apartment living style. For our class sizes, we have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio. That just means that most classes are usually 25 to 30 students at the largest. But you may even have classes with only around 10 or 11 students. We have 245 full-time faculty members, and most of our classes are taught by professors or adjunct professors, which just means that they are all professionals in their field. This means you are able to develop relationships with these professors, and they also have open hours after class where you can meet with them. It's a great way for you to not only get to know your peers, but your professors as well. We offer more than 30 undergraduate majors to choose from, some of our popular majors are criminal justice, education, business, communication, and psychology. Our most popular major among our first year students is undecided, or as we like to call it, exploratory. You don't have to know what you want to study at the very beginning. You just have some options to explore some of our majors by taking common core courses to see what you like and what you don't like. So you have pretty much until the beginning of your junior year to declare your major. When you're ready to graduate from Westfield and want to continue your education into the master's level, we offer nine graduate programs with 31 concentrations. We also have five accelerated program, and that just means you're getting your master's in a shorter period of time. So we have an accelerated program in social work, master's of science in accounting, criminal justice, master's of special education, and we have a three plus three law program as well. That just means that you will do three years with us and then three years at UMass Dartmouth Law and obtain your law degree in six years rather than seven. We have a couple options here at the university that you can choose from when it comes to traveling around. First is our international study abroad program. This is the traditional study abroad program where you go to another country for a semester and conduct your studies there. You are immersing yourself in a new culture and meeting new people. And this program lasts a few months. We have study abroad programs that are in Europe, Africa, China, and pretty much all over the world. So you definitely have multiple options. If you are a little nervous about leaving for a whole semester, or if you are in a major that makes it a little bit more difficult to leave for a whole semester, we also offer short-term study abroad programs. This means you leave at the end of each semester, either in January or in May, and it's only for two weeks. So you can take an environmental science course in Costa Rica or a biology course in Guatemala. And we even do community service-based work as well. Finally, we have our National Student Exchange Program. This is an opportunity for students to go to another institution outside of Massachusetts, anywhere in North America, and conduct your studies there for a semester. You can be as close as Connecticut, or New Hampshire, or New York, or as far as Hawaii, which is our most popular program. This is a great way to get out of the state and have that out-of-state experience, but still have a home back here at Westfield. So how does WSU prepare you for life after college? We have a couple of really cool internship opportunities. The first one I would like to highlight is our Disney College program. This is an opportunity for students to go to Disney World and work in one of the parks or resorts. You also have an opportunity to do an internship and take classes. It is a really cool opportunity for students to see the ins and outs of Disney World. We also have a program in Washington, D.C., which is our Washington Center Internship. That's where you get to intern for a corporation in Washington, D.C. 
Our students also like to do internships with local police departments, as well as federal agents. This is a really cool opportunity to explore and expand their resources. We also have many internships on and off our campus, so you students can do internships with our faculty and staff. Or if you would like to branch out with our local community, there are internships with LEGO, Mass Mutual, and the Springfield Thunderbirds, just to name a few. It is a really cool to get to know people around you and build those networks as well. Speaking of networking, I want to highlight our Career Center. The Career Center works very hard for our students, making sure that they are prepared for life after graduation. They will help you with preparing interviews and creating your resume and cover letter. And they also host career fairs on campus, which are pretty large and provide opportunity for students to get to know some corporations within this area. The Career Center also hosts networking nights with different majors. They bring alums who have graduated from, let's say the communications major, back to campus to network with our students. The alumni let our students know what they are doing post-graduation and possibly build relationships with them. Once you graduate from Westfield State, you will always be an OWL. So you can always refer back to Career Center if you are having a career change or you just need a little bit of help. So I'm sure your next question is, how do I apply to Westfield State? First, I want to talk about some application filing deadlines because those are important. Some I want to highlight are first, the early action deadline, which is November 15th. We have our regular March 1st deadline, which is for the following fall semester and November 15th as well for the following spring semester. We also have a priority deadline of February 1st, which is for specific programs such as our urban education program, learning disabilities program, our honors program, and our nursing major. Just to make a note, it is a pretty hard deadline for our nursing and honors programs, so you wanna make sure that you get your application in sooner rather than later. When applying into Westfield State, you will need to submit your application, as well as your high school transcript, including your senior year first quarter grades. Some optional items are your SAT or ACT scores, college essays, and letters of recommendation. These items are not required to submit, but you can absolutely submit them if you think they are important. But you can also apply to Westfield State University right on our website if you choose. Now I want to talk to you about some things that we review when we're looking at your application. The first thing we make sure you have the 17 units that are required for Massachusetts students. That's four courses in English, four courses in math, including a math in your senior year, three courses in science, two social science courses, one in US history and one in world history, two foreign language courses, and two electives courses such as arts, humanities, or music. So going back to foreign language, there are some options for students to waive it if necessary. If a student has a documented learning disability and was unable to take a foreign language course, they can have that waived. That is an option right on the application. Also, if a student attends a vocational high school and there is no foreign language offered or there was just no time to take it, we will also waive those. So after we've looked at all your classes, we are going to recalculate your GPA onto the 4.0 scale. That means we are going to take out classes like physical education and health, and we are going to add more weight to certain courses. So if you took an honors English and got a B, we will bump that grade up to a B plus. And if you take an AP English and get a B, we will bump that up to an A. So it does change your GPA a little bit. Now I'm going to talk about our special admissions opportunities. The first one is our urban education program. This was a program that was established a little over 50 years ago. Urban Ed services students who are first generation, which means that neither one of your parents attended a four year institution to obtain a bachelor's degree. Also, Urban Ed services Pell Grant students and students of color. So for this program, you apply separately from the original application. From there, they have to submit two letters of recommendation as well as a college essay. This program is a student support program. It is catered to students to help them their transition from high school to college and support them throughout their four years with us. It starts with the five-week summer bridge program. 
The Bridge program is a residential program where you get to stay on campus from Sunday to Thursday and take college level courses without professors. You will have an opportunity to meet different entities on campus, as well as meet the advisors in the urban education program. And you'll meet some new students as well because a whole group of you guys are going to be on campus. Also, we have the opportunity for students to earn up to six college credits during the summer bridge. And then when you complete the summer bridge, you will get a completion grant. From there, that's where the four years comes in. So you will then come into SU State in the fall and you will be an urban education student throughout your time here. That means that you will have an academic advisor and an office space to be in. There are some perks with the urban ed as well. You get that one-to-one -one advising with your advisor, early registration for your courses, and opportunities that are exclusive for urban education students. So this is an exceptional program that, and it is a great way to get support if you need it. The next program I want to highlight is our Learning Disabilities Program. This program services students who have a diagnosed learning disability and or ADHD. For this program, you will also apply separately. And when you are applying, you will need to have a record of your cognitive and achievement-based tests that were done within the past three years. The services that are provided within our Learning Disabilities Program include extended time on exams, readers and scribe for exams, as well as access to assistive technologies. You will have a program advisor for all four years you're here at West Hill State to create a roadmap academically just for you. We also have tutors and specific computer labs to work in. This is a great program if you need extra accommodations here at the university. If you are a resident of Massachusetts planning to attend West Hill State and would like to live on campus, we're a little over 22,000 per year. That cost includes tuition, fees, room and board, and a meal plan. That's pretty much everything except for books. If you plan to commute to campus each day, we are a little over 12,000 per year. For out-of-state students, we are a little over 28,000, and for out-of-state commuters, we are 18,000. For financial aid, we do offer a couple options. First, we do offer merit scholarships. About 83% of our students earn some type of merit aid. The GPA is weighed more heavily for merit scholarships, and you do not have to apply into them. That is considered when we are reviewing your application, and you would know when you get your acceptance letter. We also offer things like grant money, which I like to call great money because you do not have to pay that back. We also offer work-study opportunities for students to work on campus. Work-study goes through your financial aid, so you can work and have a part-time job as well, and that money goes straight into your pocket. Lastly, we have loans. When you are applying for financial aid, you'll need to make sure that you fill out the free application for federal student aid, or what's known as your FAFSA. The starting date for submitting is October 1st, and the priority deadline for that is March 1st. I really want to emphasize how important that deadline is. You'll want to make sure that you get your FAFSA in before March 1st so that you can become a priority and get first grab at that money. After March 1st, it's not that easy. And finally, National Candidate Reply Day is May 1st, and that's when you say, yes, I'm coming to Westfield State.